गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एडवोकेट अमित कुमार गुप्ता इन माई सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेज द केस विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज डी एस जी पेपर्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वर्सेज असिस्टेंट कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स दिस केस हैज बिन रिपोर्टेड इन नाइनटीन नाइन आई टी आर ट्रिब्यूनल एट पेज नंबर टू फोर्टी वन द मैटर हैज बिन डिसाइडेड बाय चंडीगढ़ आई टी आई टी एंड द केस हैज बिन रिपोर्टेड इन एंड द केस has been adjudicated on 29th july 2022 friends the logic of discussing this case is that in this case it has been decided that there is a importance of cross examination there is importance of corroborative evidence whenever there is a search on the ssc the department takes the statement of the directors of the ssc or the ssc and without going into the evidences of the matter tries to make the addition on the basis of the congestion and surmises in this particular case a search by the gst department was made on the ssc company and on its ex president some copy of invoices were found from the premises of the ex president and simultaneously there was a gst search on the dealers of the ssc also so when this gst search was made on the dealers some email were traced in which there were some instances which were suggesting that some unaccounted sales have been made by the ssc but there was no corroborative evidence during that search the statement of the directors were also taken which were retracted by the directors thereafter gst department shared this information with the income tax department and on the basis of this information the income tax department reopened the case of the ssc under section 148 and made the addition by calculating some unaccounted sales and some net profit rate was applied on that and addition was made so as far as the addition was made by taking some net profit rate it was very well justified and when the ssc went to the cit appeal also the cit appeal also reduced that uh, rate of net profit so as far as this part was concerned the department was very lenient on the ssc we can say because we see that when uh, whenever the assessing officer make the addition he makes the addition of the total sales amount but as far as this part was concerned there was moderate additions on the ssc but the ssc was fighting this issue on the plea that the additions have been made on the basis of the statements of the third parties and these parties has not been produced before the ssc for cross examination in spite of ssc asking for cross examination various times during the assessment proceedings but the department said that there is no need for cross examination and the additions were made as far as this part was concerned cit appeal also didn't give relief to the ssc so when this matter came to the itat the itat said that the statements were taken from the director which were retracted later on there was no corroborative evidence from the third parties except some very casual allegations that some unaccounted sales have been made by the ssc and in spite of ssc asking for the cross examination of the third parties it was not provided to the ssc so because cross examination is a very integral part when the department relies on the information of the uh, statement of the third parties then if uh, it is the version of the ssc that if that party is not produced for cross examination then simply on the basis of the statement of third party you you cannot make my addition meaning thereby that if any person will say anything about uh, some person without corroborative evidence or without concrete evidence then that oral evidence cannot be relied upon so in this particular case the itat also deleted the addition of the net profit on the unaccounted sales 
so this is a very welcome judgment as far as the importance of corroborative evidence and the importance of cross examination is concerned so this case can be used where the assessee has asked for the cross examination of the parties on the basis of whose the addition of the assessee has been made at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is dsg papers private limited versus assistant commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 99 itr tribunal at page number 241 thank you friends